Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and I want to talk about names. Specifically, um, great characters in the uh, Hebrew Scriptures, in the Torah, and the significance in the names that they give their children. Uh, for example, uh, Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu, called, um, uh, called his uh, son Gershom. Why? I was a stranger in a strange land. Ger is a stranger, also convert. Ger, there's two meanings. I was a stranger, Ger, in a strange land. He named the son Gershom as recalling the past. When uh, Yosef, Joseph, the viceroy of Egypt, called his uh, first son Manasseh. It was uh, in, in the book of Genesis. Uh, why? Because God made me forget all my hardship and all my father's household. We have a, a funny little thing happening because he names Manasseh as a remembrance that God made him forget uh, the hardships uh, and the father's house, the, the way the brothers treated him, sold him to slavery and all that. It's a remembrance. Um, there are people who attempt, who attempt to erase and eradicate the past. They're ashamed of their, of their history, their family history. They try to uh, remove the culture, the way of life. Uh, they're ashamed of it. Not so the observant Jew. Um, we remember the past. We venerate it. Uh, we live in the present. We build toward the future. But at the same time, it's based upon a foundation that is, uh, uh, is of the past. The reason why uh, biblical characters named their children um, symbolize the future were based on events uh, that recall the past. Um, why? Um, why do we do this? Why this? Why this thing about the past? It's by connecting with the past that we're assured of a promising future. Why? Why is the past so important? Why this fixation on the past? It's in the past. What do you, who cares? Why the crucial role in our lives? Someone who doesn't um, acquaint himself with the past doesn't really have a good grasp on what's going on uh, in the present. Anti-Semitism, uh, for example. You can't really get a good grasp and fully appreciate anti-Semitism until you, you study and you look at its history as it happened over the century, over the millennia, the, the different kinds of anti-Semitism, anti -Semitism, religious anti-Semitism, cultural and ethnic anti-Semitism, social anti-Semitism. Looking at the past makes you appreciate the presence. Um, Gula, redemption. You don't really have a good concept of redemption until you study Gullus, exile. When you know our history of exile, of going from country to country, place to place, uh, separated from our land, then you can appreciate redemption from that. You need, um, you need that. You strengthen your identity. You strengthen your Jewish identity and uh, you heighten um, your Jewish pride. You become acutely aware of the uh, many significant events and many significant achievements um, that our uh, ancestors, our forebears, um, had uh, throughout history, one who becomes um, acquainted with our past uh, will become proud of it as he integrates this knowledge into his own life. Um, luckily, we will see how many of today's problems, their issues, the challenges, have been confronted by the Jewish people 
in the past. And um, as the saying goes, uh, one who ignores the past is destined to relive it. We're going to be doing more videos uh, along uh, this line. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.